I well, thought we'd start the vlog off this week with some wren and some uh, beautiful winter coolie views. That's a really small stick, Buck. Okay, see you later. Um, lately, when I have taken her for walks in like a hiking capacity, I've been bringing headphones listening to a podcast or music. Um, now that I have better headphones, I think that's why. But, like, I didn't, I forgot my headphones and I was like, oh, shoot. And I just didn't want to go back. And like a second later, I was like, no, this is fine. Like, it is okay. I mean, I also have the option of just like listening to my phone without headphones. It's a little more cumbersome and more difficult, but also it is good time for reflection. So, Last week, talking about mental claustrophobia, not being able to be physical while having my mind wide open was very suffocating. But in circumstances like this, my mind is wide open, but I have so much stimuli, right? Like I could be, you know, I'm concerned about Ren and what she's up to and making sure she's safe and making sure we're safe. And I've got all this beauty to take in and appreciate and then I can start thinking about some things as well but it's a lot different than you know being physically restrained in a in a small capsule where you can't there's no stimulation right it's just all this and that's it and so it's very different and I think just like I I kind of mentioned that I missed vlogging a bit and just talking to the camera and getting some thoughts out and externally processing even within the vlog. This is definitely something that I've been missing as well of just like not having that distracting stimulation of podcasts and music sometimes. I mean, music wouldn't be as distracting um, and, and could sometimes complement this type of scenario, but this is also just something I need more of and to not have more stimulation that would take me away from the opportunity to be working through and processing thoughts and feelings as much. Because again, I don't feel trapped and I feel like I can do other things. And I've got a lot of other stimuli. Right, puppy? Let's go. It's a beautiful morning. Haven't really looked in the mirror. Walking the pup. It's cold though. It's interesting. There is a signifier. Uh, maybe that's the wrong word. There's a um, label, a degree of cold, a bitter cold, and it's really interesting. That, I don't know. We have things like wind chill that can make it. Like the temperature is actually one way, but it feels different. It feels colder. Bitter cold is a thing, and I don't know what creates it, but it's only like minus 10, but yeah, bitter cold is what it feels like. It, it feels a lot colder, and it's like deeper cold. I don't really know how to express it. Anyway, she saw some birds. Hopefully... She doesn't see that other dog. I think she did. Ren, no. Ren, stay here. Good girl. Oh my goodness. Stay here. Anyway, I had a dream this morning that sucked. It was weird and it was like a stress dream. And my, in my dream, my grandpa that I guess I had like barely just met or something. Uh, he had like some type of dementia. Or do you describe it as having like little snakes in your brain? And that really freaked me out. And he said it was hereditary. And I was like, oh yeah, like my dad's got that. I guess that makes sense. I already knew he had that. And now meeting you, you had it, which means I'm going to get it. And it was just like this stupid dream about mortality and mental capacity. And it was not my favorite, to say the least. 
I think part of it might have been due to watching 50-50 last night. Uh, I wanted to watch it when it came out, and then I just didn't. And then I was kind of like, yeah, I don't think it's going to be amazing. And then like 10 years later, I finally watch it. Uh, it was... I think that people just wanted to like make a comedy about cancer. And there's a movie about cancer that is funny as well. I don't know. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, definitely was about cancer, and it definitely had humorous moments. The thing is, though, it was so incredibly predictable. Like, way too predictable. Uh, so that was kind of annoying. There's, like, some major plot points that I'm like, it's just, yeah, it, it was too formulaic, uh, and it, down to the point where, like, you knew not just that something was going to happen, but you knew who was going to do it. So, that was not my favorite thing, but it's, uh, it's decent, I guess. I didn't, like, hate my life watching it. It was just, like, being able to call everything out and actually be right. I don't know. That's what happens when you watch a lot of movies, I guess. But also, that's what happens when they stick to a formula. So, anyway. Ren's beautiful. Why do I show you Ren so much in the vlog? Because nothing, very little, if anything, makes me happier. Like, purely, just beautifully, wonderfully, magically happy than just Ren living her best life. Off leash, running, playing with dogs, sniffing, you know, scampering around, jumping, just, just being beautiful and wonderful. You okay? What did you explore? What did you find? Okay, see you later. See you later, poopy. They've been palling around for like 10 minutes. They're so cute. So cute. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Oh, there they go. Well, a little outro to the vlog here. I'm um, just leaving the studio Thursday night. Uh, I got two full days here and I barely did anything because I was just too tired from not going to sleep on time the nights before. But uh, if anything, learning experience, again, I just need, I just need a, it's been a better week for sleeping, but anyway. Um, working on some things. There's a reference photo, paintings back there. I got like three things that are like, I think this one's done. I think this thing is just done. It's just, the presentation is going to be interesting because it's on a 16 by 20 mylar and then there's this paper on it that's, I don't know what size, and so I, I drew and then I painted after and yeah, um, I like it a lot, but it's one of those things that's like, well, I guess you're framing that and that's going to be on you. <laughs> um, this thing, I think, I've just been battling this thing for days and days and days. Not really. Three three sessions, I think. And uh, I think I finally got it to where it needs to be. And I think it's done, and I'm pretty happy with it right now, but we'll see, you know, once it dries, and it goes back up on the wall, and I can really take another good look at it. Uh, man, I just realized you're getting so much shadow. It's annoying. Anyway, and then back from a couple weeks ago, I did this, like, x-ray thing. Uh, not x-ray. Well, it's on an x-ray, but it's it's the MRI room uh, and then like that, that painting back there that you can't see is like of the noose which is a whole other thing wrapping up the vlog this week there's no other videos this week except for a conversation that I had about classic I didn't look oh about references like dated references versus like evergreen references um, in art music and stuff and that's what that is so anyway <clears throat> 
Update on the job front, I guess. I have another job interview at a post-secondary institution. I'm not as excited about it as I was the other one, because one, it's not in person, it's over, like, teams, and that's annoying for many reasons. Uh, but also, it's just not necessarily the job that I may be looking for, and uh, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll see, but that's, like, in a week and a bit from now, which is also just, like, the timeline on it has just been frustrating. But art is beautiful. Art is amazing. I love art, and um, I hope that I get to make some cool art one day, because... Every day. I don't know. Anyway.